It's said that when a car is submerged in water, you can't open the door. You have to wait until the cabin is completely filled with water before it will open. To find out if that's true, Adam decided to test it himself. He chose to use a second-hand muscle car worth over $100,000 for the experiment. The first step was to remove the engine and all its components. Then, he added back the same amount of weight into the engine bay. This was because the engine contains various fluids and oils, and removing them helped avoid unnecessary complications during the test. The test site was set in a swimming pool, so the entire process could be clearly recorded and real accidents could be avoided. Adam wore a wetsuit and carried an oxygen tank, staying seated in the back seat on standby. There was also a spare oxygen tank placed in the front passenger seat as a backup. Once everything was ready, Adam got into the driver's seat and was lowered into the pool by a crane. Water slowly began to seep in. At this point, the car was halfway underwater. Adam immediately felt an intense pressure. The cabin quickly filled with water. From the outside, everything looked calm. But inside, Adam was holding his breath, trying to force the door open with his body, but it wouldn't budge. Eventually, he couldn't hold his breath any longer and had to use the oxygen tank. Only once the cabin was completely filled with water was he able to open the door and swim to the surface. But by then, it was already too late. The entire process had taken three minutes. In a real emergency, an average person would have missed the best chance to escape. So now the question is, can you open the door before the car fully sinks? 